And help is on the way for a survivor of the Columbine shootings. Richard Castaldo was paralyzed in the 1999 massacre. Twelve students were killed along with a teacher all shot to death. Well, there's been an outpouring of support since Castaldo's plight was featured by CBS 4's Rick Salinger and others. Here's Rick with a welcome update. The picture of Rich Castaldo with his head in his arms has touched many. It was taken at a Los Angeles event for gun violence victims when Holly Dexter discovered he was ill. We called 911. Uh, we had him taken to the hospital. He was very sick with a MRSA infection. We reached Rich by phone, living for months at a Los Angeles convalescent home, where he told us he needed a new wheelchair. Yeah, I'm trying to get a new one, like a stand-up one. Um, I'm trying to get that going. A GoFundMe page was started. It has now raised nearly $20,000. His attorney, Stuart Zimring, is among the organizers trying to get Costaldo the wheelchair and more. We're working on getting him housing. Uh, Richard very much wants to be independent. He wants to lead his own life. Castaldo has already received a new computer from donors. He was among the first shot at Columbine more than 20 years ago, struck eight times and paralyzed. Though he likes to distance himself from that event, he has not been forgotten. It speaks to what I think our society can be when it's at its best, reaching out and helping each other uh, in time of need. And Richard's story is compelling. A link to the GoFundMe page can be found on cbsdenver.com. Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First.